It seems to be the same procedure every year as a professional Java programmer. Your management tells you the goals for the next year, including higher performances and better turnovers. During the year, you plan tasks on how to reach these goals bit by bit and recognize that these goals can't be reached because your system or code is always slowing down and the performance is not getting better. It gets worse. You start to blame your hardware and probably you buy a new computer. But instead of investing only in hardware, you should think about modernizing your software. Hello and welcome to the Jay Sparrow Start Programming channel. My name is Ben and today I want to talk about how you can easily modernize your software as a Java developer without buying new hardware and doing repetitive and tedious work. For modernizing your software, you need new functionality. Maybe you're asking yourself now, modernize my software? Why should I do this? Maybe it seems to you that your program or system is great. Maybe you have used the same software for more than 10 years and you think only a little bit of functionality has to be newly implemented and then the program will work faster and all the problems will be gone. But this is a big misconception. This is exactly the reason why your systems are slowing down. And slow systems can have a dramatic impact on your daily work. Slow systems are not only recognized by your employees or co-workers, they are also recognized by suppliers and customers, which is not a good thing in the business sector. It shows them that your work is not the best and that they should maybe look for another partner who can help them finishing their request or order. Systems slow down if they haven't been changed and maintained regularly. That's a fact and I'm sure you agree with me here. Java has been developed for more than 25 years and it changed a lot in the last year, even in the last months. A lot of new features have been implemented and these features are faster, more secure and also give you higher performance. So one can say, you should definitely use them. But the problem is that all these new features only increase your performance if you implement new methods. The same applies to virtual machines. Virtual machines execute your programs on your computers and they have also changed dramatically in the last few years. You can say that the new methods Java provides on the new Java virtual machines run very fast, but as already mentioned, only if you implement new methods. Therefore, you can also say that virtual machines ignore or slow down all your old implemented methods if you don't change your methods to newer ones. Outdated software slows down your system automatically. As mentioned, what you have to do is to maintain your software systems the same way you maintain your cars or your garden if you have one. At this point, I would like to introduce you to what is probably the best Java solution to this specific topic on the market and that can solve all these tasks for you. Namely, Jay Sparrow. Jay Sparrow is your Eclipse and Maven partner when it comes to all Java refactoring solutions. With Jay Sparrow, you can scan and update your system software with one click, find and fix code bugs, remove code smell or implement Java best practices. With the refactoring of your code, there are many new solutions to your previous old software. The user experience gets better, certain processes in your program are accelerated and your employees or co-workers don't have to deal with old dusty legacy codes either. The best thing about Jay Sparrow is that you can try it for free. We have used it to disassemble quite a few open source projects and the result has been both shocking and fascinating. With Jay Sparrow, you can save yourself a lot of time and nerves and no longer have to do nerve wracking work yourself. You can simply automate it and let Jay Sparrow do the tedious work for you. If this sounds interesting, just download the free version and also visit our documentation area which explains exactly how our refactoring mechanisms are composed. The link for that is in the video description. It is a fact that software systems have to be modernized to keep up with the speed of your daily business. In that sense, I would say that's it for the video. If I helped you to understand why Java software needs to be maintained, I would really appreciate a thumbs up under this video. And if you haven't already, then subscribe to this channel because we are bringing a lot of new programming related content regularly and it's really something usable. For the rest, I wish you a nice day, have fun programming and see you next time. Goodbye!